that's the right energy. Hello there, my beautiful friends. Welcome to another video. I hope you're having a beautiful damn day and a big old welcome grand opening of my new home, my new kitchen. Just moved here and I'm so excited to bring you along on a week worth of food in my new kitchen. Woo! You know, I'm just, I'm honestly just so excited to be back in the mountains and to have a home with uh, great people. Started off my day by making some oat milk, to be honest, completely forgot that I meant to film on this morning. So I got myself straining the oat milk, didn't get myself making the oat milk, <laughs> but we're using the leftover blended oats to make some protein balls. These, if I'm completely honest, were definitely not the best protein balls that I made in my life. So I'm not giving you the recipe because I don't want to torture you. Matcha.com may be the sponsor of today's video. If you may not be able to tell by me just, you know, slyly putting all of their products in front of the camera. But you know what? Matcha.com is freaking amazing. I love their products so very much. And they have a massive sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later. As you can see, made myself a delicious matcha with my oat milk. And we're just grooving, staring at the beautiful new view from the kitchen. Although the camera did not really accurately represent the view. Firm up. I rolled my protein balls. They were too soggy. They were too wet. Um, I, again, made a massive mistake. I shouldn't have tried to make these a thing. I don't know. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some in the kitchen and that's okay. That's kind of part of the experimentation and the fun in the kitchen. Although it sucks when things don't turn out the way that you want them to. You want everything you make to be delicious, but you know what? Sometimes things are just okay and that's okay. And what you can do is just slather the okay thing with a bunch of chocolate to make it a little bit better. And then make sure you lick the spoon and lick the bowl and um, get in touch with your childhood self. Chocolate saves the day always and forever and you cannot change my mind on that. For lunch today, I'm making a quinoa salad. So I am cubing up some tofu, setting that aside, getting a pan nice and hot, adding some oil. And as a dressing, we are mixing up tahini, miso. I freaking just love miso paste so very much. The umaminess, the salt, the just, just so freaking good. If you don't have miso in your fridge at all times, do yourself a favor and put miso in your fridge because it just goes in so many things. Mixed up a bunch of ingredients. I'll put that sauce recipe down below because it really was delicious. Chopped up some cilantro, boiled some water, and covered some frozen peas with that hot water <laughs> and set that aside. Strained it when they were nice and done. And then mixed together my crispy tofu, quinoa, peas, and cilantro, and then smothered it in my delicious tahini miso sauce. This was yummy, this was so nourishing. I felt good after it. I got some fermented foods in, some protein, and it was delicious. So if you've been on this channel for a hot minute, I think you know a few things about me. I love to say damn, freaking, and I also go ah every time I spill something and drop something. Um, another thing that you may know about me is I love my matcha, but not the utterly bitter, disgustingly gray-green oxidized matcha that most of us have experienced in our lives. I prefer a beautifully, sweetly earthy, greener than green cup of matcha. And that is why forever and always matcha.com will be at my heart. And they're also today's sponsor. So how convenient is that? <laughs> Thank you so much, Matcha Kari, for sponsoring today's video. And seriously, guys, they have ruined me for any other matcha. And I'm kind of okay with that. So right now, they're having their annual Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, which means huge discounts for you. And I would suggest 
you don't miss this opportunity. <laughs> the amazing thing about matcha.com is that they don't just offer straight up matcha, they have so many other things to choose from. For example, their adaptogen latte mix that I personally love because it has lion's mane mushroom, reishi, reishi mushroom, and ashwagandha root. Ashwagandha is such a fun word and it is so difficult to spell. Side note. Jesus, <laughs> that was really strong. <laughs> That was really aggressive. But if you're not into matcha at all, that's okay. They have an amazing fermented turmeric tea powder that I love for turmeric lattes, but I also use it in my cooking as well just because it is so freaking gorgeous and delicious. They also have a wonderful selection of Japanese teas. You can find something for yourself or maybe somebody that you love for this holiday season. Click the link down in my description box. Use my code BFJULIA to save big on your purchase. And if you're a Matcha Prime member, then you'll get even bigger discounts, which is absolutely freaking amazing. Side note, their matcha is from only 60 of the authentic farms that are left in this world. So you're not just supporting a great matcha company that provides you with delicious matcha, but you're supporting ancient traditions that have been around for so very long. And in my heart, that is just absolutely incredible. Truly, I would not be preaching matcha.com if I did not love them all around. So click the link down in my description box. Use my code BFJULIA to save big this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Thank you so much matcha.com for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel so endlessly. Again with this, what is this? Why? Every time I end an ad. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I was feeling something warming and cozy and delicious and flavorful. So I started off by sauteing up some onion, some ginger, and some garlic, threw some sweet potato in there along with some carrot, got some rice going because we were making a curry and we need rice. We need rice with our curry. I seasoned it with some turmeric, cumin, chili flakes, a little bit of nutmeg, clove, black pepper, threw a can of coconut, coconut milk, coconut milk inside of there, <laughs> covered it with a lid and let it do its thing for about 15 minutes or so. Added some lentils. These are split red lentils, so they only take about seven to nine minutes to soften up. Once everything was done, I plated it up, covered it in some cilantro, some sesame seeds, and some fresh lime juice. I love lime juice on top of a curry. Mm, so good. Sorry if that made you uh, have to pee your pants, because honestly, same, but you know what? It's all right, go pee, come back, pause the video. I'm still gonna be here when you come back, all right? <laughs> Started my day off with some AG1, and then I sliced up a banana, threw some blueberries in my bowl, along with a couple of my weird protein chocolate covered oat thingamajiggers. That's the official name, by the way. I also threw a delicious granola bar that I just kind of broke up in pieces <laughs> on top of my fruit. And those granola bars are super delicious, wholesome ingredients, and they're also made in Canada. You know, I'm a Canadian gal and I gotta rep my Canadian companies. There's a code down below for you to use as well. That wasn't as aesthetically pleasing as I wanted it to be. Boop boop boop. Let it all. Ow! <laughs> Warning, hot water is hot full-blown warning and it's not a known fact that hot water is hot so just wanted to update you on that um i <laughs> threw some olive oil into my pan got some tofu in there crisped it up and while that was happening i made myself a sauce with some microplane ginger and garlic miso paste lime juice and maple syrup yes maple syrup canadian gal we already established this i'm a canadian gal threw my pasta and my peas back in my pot along with some cilantro and my sauce, mixed it all together. And this was really delicious, super simple to make. I was only in the kitchen for about 15 minutes or so. So highly recommend.
The pasta that I used was brown rice pasta, but feel free to use whatever pasta your heart desires, my friends. For dinner, I had a dream. I had an idea that I really wanted to work out, but let's be real here. Not everything we do, like I said in the kitchen, is going to work out. Not everything we do is going to be the most amazing thing that we've ever cooked in our entire lives because that's just not <laughs> realistic. So I marinated some tofu, I got it in my frying pan, I crisped it up the best that I could, and then I pulled out some old oxidized nori sheets that are not green anymore they are purpley blue and that's what happens when things oxidize i guess threw my tofu in there along with some sliced up carrot and some old rice from last night's dinner made myself a little bit more of that marinade just kind of mixed some things up along with some sesame seed oil and then dipped these weird rolls Ow. <laughs> Fair warning, on this day, I was absolutely freaking addicted to warm drinks. My roommate has this milk frother thing and I am legitimately obsessed, obsessed with it. Okay, I cannot stop making warm drinks. I'm having like three a day and I'm kind of, yeah, I'm okay with it. Not kind of, I'm okay with it. It's delicious, I'm happy, it makes my heart happy. Everything is yummy and I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wasn't really feeling making food for breakfast, so I warmed up some leftovers, got my leftover pasta from the other day, along with my leftover rolls. And I gotta say, this was really smart of me, flipping the container upside down and putting the things on the lid and then putting the sauce in the container that the rolls were originally in. I gotta say, like props to me for figuring out the simplest things to make your life a little bit easier. Here we are, hot chocolate number two of the day, freaking yum. Added some lion's mane mushroom to it. I love adding lion's mane mushroom or reishi mushroom. Honestly, just any adaptogenic mushroom in a matcha latte or a regular latte or hot chocolate. Mm, it's just such a good way to get some adaptogens into your life. Highly recommend them. Anyways, for dinner, we're chopping up a bunch of veggies. Onion, garlic, ginger, carrot, broccoli. Started off by sauteing our onion in garlic and ginger. Added some salt, added our tofu, our carrot, a can of coconut milk. And because we want life to be easy sometimes, we buy pre-made curry paste that we already know is absolutely delicious. So I threw a big chunk of that in along with some peas and some rice noodles. Not gonna lie, I was doing the dishes and um, kind of completely forgot about my rice noodles and I overcooked them just not a touch, pretty, pretty, pretty rapidly. But uh, we all make mistakes and this still had lots of flavor and it still looked beautiful and it was still enjoyable and covered the whole thing with some cilantro, fresh lamb juice, sesame seeds. I also want to note that sit and eat your food mindfully every so often. It doesn't have to be every single meal. You don't have to put pressure on yourself to do it all of the time. But every so often, just remind yourself how amazing it is to just sit there and pay attention to the food that's in front of you. It's like an act of meditation and makes me feel more connected to the food that I'm putting in my body. And it's one thing that's actually really helped me with my eating disorder history to feel more one with my food. <laughs> let's see me really need to buy a new thing of protein powder don't get me wrong this is delicious but i am sick of it i am absolutely sick of it today's chore is to find a good protein powder that isn't fucking salted caramel because it doesn't go with a lot of stuff it's great when you're in the mood for salted caramel but you're not always in the mood for salted caramel but you're in the mood for a protein shake get vanilla get chocolate get the standard 
protein powder flavors so that you can do everything with it. This is why vanilla is like the most popular because you can do anything with it. It goes with everything. Yeah, even the universe doesn't like salted caramel. Okay, that was because I really had to do that. No, oh, oh. My little kid self would literally just go But I also think that may be kind of gross. I should have just done it. I should have, I regret, as soon as I put the cloth down, I regretted that I should have just done it. That would have made my life so much better. I don't know why I'm getting so much joy out of this right now. <laughs> After that uh, lovely smoothie fiasco, I went out to get some work done. I grabbed a coffee and as lunchtime approached, I was absolutely starving, but nowhere near close to done my work. And I did not feel like going home to make myself something. So I got myself a pita, roasted veggie, hummus, salad thingamajigger from the place that I was sitting at. It was really, really delicious. Although I do have one complaint, one complaint. Does anyone else prefer when pita is a little bit softer? I really do enjoy this Koso syrup. It makes my bowel movements absolutely fantastic, along with a little bit of kombucha and some Perrier. Mm. Cheers. Drinking and eating out of pretty dishes is just a must. Mm. The best place to find some cool, beautiful dishes, thrift stores. No joke, thrift stores are super cheap. I found my favorite tumblers, stemless wine glasses. At a thrift store four years ago, they were a dollar each. And I broke one, unfortunately. Honestly, it really made me sad. Over this summer, it was on this trip, it was probably the most tragic thing that happened to me, but you know, they did me well for about four years, so no complaints. Okay, well, complaint, it broke, but whatever. Let's move on here. So when I got home this day, my roommate invited me to a potluck dinner and to a concert. So I'm making these carrots for the potluck dinner and unfortunately I did not film everything I ate at that potluck. Um, I felt weird, sometimes you feel weird like bringing your camera and then because you're socializing and talking like you don't really remember like to film everything that you're eating. But yeah, I just like kind of snacked quite a bit and before we went I wasn't sure how many things I would be able to eat there because you know I'm a vegan and um, sometimes you don't luck out when you go to a potluck. <laughs> so I warmed up some leftover curry rice noodle stuff and um, on top of the carrots I made a delicious miso sauce and I just simply poured the sauce over the carrots once the carrots were done and let it just kind of sit there marinate and warm up. I didn't cook the miso again after if that makes sense. The next day, <laughs> got up and went to a craft Christmas fair with another roommate of mine. I was super grateful. I'm so freaking grateful that these girls are like bringing me to things and like inviting me. And they're just so welcoming and warming. And honestly, I could not be more grateful and happy for it because sometimes when you move to a new place, it's really hard to like make friends and like, you know go to these things because you're just alone and then it's kind of awkward and like whatever as much as i love my alone time sometimes it's just so nice to do things with super great nice people <laughs> So 
I was gone pretty well all day and I was absolutely freaking starving by the time I got home. I munched on a, all of that granola, the whole bag of granola that you just saw a minute ago. And then as soon as I got home, I'm making myself some rice noodles, mixed together a bunch of different things, peanut butter, this fermented Asian spread that I can't remember the name of that I bought at the fair, sriracha, rice syrup, a touch of water, and then I got some veggies in my pan, fried them up along with some tofu, threw my noodles in there along with my sauce, and then served it all on up. Simple, delicious, nourishing. That's my motto. I've been addicted to rice noodles this week. <laughs> Dude, there's no such thing as too many rice noodles. That's the right energy. Mmm, I need green onions. And sesame seeds. All right, let's go. Let's eat. After that, I had some AG1, munched on some chocolate, and I am kind of hating the fact that it gets pitch black by five o'clock now. Like, what is that? Why? Like, I understand it's a winter, it's the weather changes. I, I know the world tilts at a weird angle and makes half the world darker for half the year. I, I, I know this, but I just, I don't like it. And I'm going to continue to question why, because it's just not what I want. Anyways, I was super groovy and happy and felt so much love in my heart this evening. I made myself a very simple salad. That's it. I just wanted a simple, yummy salad. And I wanted to listen to music and I wanted to dance my heart out. Blueberries. juicer went during the move. I hate when you move and you just lose stuff. Like where does, how does that happen? So. so this dinner is an extension on what I eat in a week because last night's dinner did not really get filmed very well. I decided to bring you along on this fun new journey of delicious green pasta sauce. I soaked some cashews, threw a bunch of basil in here, spinach, nutritional yeast, salt, white balsamic vinegar, pepper, a little bit of chili flake, and because I added way too much water, I tried to thicken it up by emulsifying some oil that really didn't help at all and then i came up with the idea of shoving some protein in there so i threw some extra fern tofu and that really did thicken up the sauce and added a little bit more nutrition to the sauce so two bangs in a buck is that that's not a saying two two stones and a bird two birds and a st you know what i'm saying mix that up with some brown rice fettuccine covered it with some more chili flakes and nutritional yeast black pepper I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it. I'm so happy to create these for you and I'm so freaking grateful to do what I do and share the life that I live. Although not everything is perfect. Not everything is aesthetically pleasing. It's real and it's me. And I think that is so valuable. And I encourage you guys to share yourself in whatever way feels comfortable to you. And that does not mean start a YouTube channel or share yourself on Instagram or anything like that. but try to be more authentic find your authenticity in the life that you want to live so i'm sending you all so much love and if you could do me a massive favor truly it lights my heart up so very much and helps my channel grow reach more people and just to continue to help me create these videos for you hit that like button hit that subscribe button thank you so very much i hope you have a beautiful rest of your damned day mm -hmm.